Alright, I think this is it. I guess they're starting. Okay, so I actually saw this guy playing Rob earlier. I don't know, I've never seen him before. He's new, but uh, I was actually pretty impressed with his Rob. He beat, um, I don't know what his actual tag is, but one of the one of uh, Clappy's DePaul friends that's like plays with IRS all the time. Okay. So. It looks like Sago's doing a pretty good job of keeping him out. Sago's good at this matchup though. He's, uh, I don't know if he's good at it, but he played Kirk Q not too long ago okay. in Grand Finals, and he kind of bopped him. I don't, wanna, I don't say bopped him. He, what? He, he definitely beat Kirk Q soundly. What I'm seeing is it looks like Sago's really good on shield. Yes, yes he is. Especially versus, like, I don't know if Rob has anything good out of shield, probably not. Uh, not really, and his shield is very bad. Okay. It doesn't cover the sides of his base and his head oh, that's very well. well. Yeah, see, like, his... he got hit by one thing and his head was just, like, wide open. Right. But Sago's doing such a good job of covering the shield. Like, yeah. Just hitting it and not letting him get in. Yeah, Sago's really good at doing that. Yeah, I think... I think uh, Carso is shielding just too much. Oh, nice, nice up air string there. Yeah. Got a little wheel of fortune there. <laughs> Ooh, oh, downer to downer? Is that what it was? Is that what it is? Three downers? Alright. Oh, bad DI. Caught him. He's got Caught the charge. Caught him trying to aerial and go back to the ledge. Hit him and kill him. Alright, so everybody Carso is looking a little lost right now. Yeah. I, I just don't think he's used to the matchup. No, I don't. I don't think so either. I've I've never seen him before, so you know this might be his first tournament. I don't know that for a fact. But oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. He should have caught the. Did he use up Sago's uh, charge? Did uh, charge? No. Okay. I thought uh, Sago used it and get hit by the gyro. See, had Sago just jumped to the ledge there, he would be fine. Instead of doing all that. He likes so. doing. He likes doing that. Right. And it kind of gives some people some uh, time to set up right. if they're ready for it. Now in PM they made his they made Luigi's recovery just really good. Yes. In a way, in a way, it's still weak. It works properly. Yeah. I think it's it's the way that melee wanted to work but didn't. I think right. it was coded improperly. Well, now it's where if he up B's, he's not just screwed if someone just holds the ledge. Like he can di onto the stage. Yeah, true. He actually has some some uh, wiggle room now. And like his forward B snaps the ledge automatically. Not necessarily automatically. Sago's really good at the, uh, spacing for it. Oh, he has to space it? Yeah, it's actually a spacing thing. It's okay. not as easy as it looks. Okay. He just makes it look easy. Okay. Oh, that oh, was nice, a very nice up smash. Good call with that up smash. Okay, so just like that, he's back to two stocks even, only less than 100%. We'll see how he comes back. Sago doing some fancy Sago, up there. Sago covering the ledge so well. Oh, gets hit by the, the dreidel. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, nice. All right, he's doing a really good job of actually catching Sago. See, he should have grabbed the ledge there. Yeah, what I noticed when he was playing against uh, the guy that he was playing with, played Captain Falcon, and all he did was to edge, try and edge guard him. He would just stand on the stage and like down tilt or F smash downward. Okay. He didn't really grab the ledge much. Uh, so I don't know if it's he, he's just not. I, I didn't really see him wave dash at all, really. Oh man, that was I, really I nice. I think he was diing up and away. Yeah, he get away from like a fair or something. And he um, got caught by the down air backwards. Yeah, down, he used down throw. Luigi's down throw sends him behind. I don't know if he knows that. So I think yeah. he died straight up, and Sago gets a free yeah. down air out of that. I think that. we're seeing a lot of matchup aware unawareness here. Yeah, that's definitely. He's definitely new to the matchup, you can tell. But he definitely looks pretty good for a first timer. Yeah, definitely. I was actually really impressed when I was watching him play. He, he's even holding his own against Sago, and Sago's well versed in oh, this game, so. Yeah, see, he's just not even... Yeah, it doesn't look, look like he's really DI'ing. No, no, because if you DI, he kind of does, like, the 45-degree angle thing. Okay. Yeah, see, he's just kind of... He's kind of just... Like, yeah, he's kind of taking it. But yeah, Sago's doing... Okay, yeah, see, he's just... See, if you don't DI, you just get chopped for free. You get chopped or down aired or yeah, up aired or forward aired or, you know... I already said forward aired, but, you know. Oh, uh, that was good. Alright, now grab the... Okay. He, he, he had the right have, idea. Yeah, if, he didn't have really time to grab the ledge there, but... I think, actually, if Sago wouldn't have speed spotted the ledge, he would have been able to get him with that down air. Okay. So, that was actually a good idea. Uh, just didn't work out for him. Okay. That was a good forward smash on his roll. Good forward smash, bad yeah. <laughs> Oh, right there. Good, good forward smash. All right, without a miss, oh, never mind. Oh. 
you just drop off there and hit him with a move? Oh, so okay. He yeah, he was just holding the ledge at that time. Okay. Uh, he shot the laser too early there. Uh, and see, he's doing a bunch of stuff a little too late. He should have been doing this earlier. He's still in it, though. Oh, he gets caught out of his jump. Sago's so good at sniping his jump. We have a nice, uh, nice boost to forward air to get back on the stage safely. Ooh. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, Miss space the fair and got shield grabs. It's really hard to space the fair out of the boost. It's really hard to space on shield in this game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Unless you have a sword. Oh yeah. Swords are nice. Okay, that almost hit. Oh, that that would have been good. really nice. See? Oh, now he's See, doing I think... really good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just unfortunate. That's so unlucky. I mean, that was obviously a planned. Misfire, but right. oh, he got another misfire. Oh. That's crazy. All right, he's got to finish him off right here. Oh, good, good shield grab. I didn't even, I didn't think you could get that. Apparently, you can. Oh, you gotta grab the ledge. Yeah, and see, and if a big, a big problem that newer players have is they don't know what's coming, so they shield at the ledge, and then the guy comes on the ledge, off the ledge, and just hits them. Right. Oh, he just does it. Okay, so he's not respecting it. No, he, he yeah. no. That was actually more of a combo string than anything. Yeah, he kind of he kind of put him in that spot okay. where Rob doesn't really have a lot of options except maybe boost upward. Right. And if he didn't know that he was going to choose the side B option, then obviously he's not going to boost upward. So he was doing so well this game too. Sago just kind of got that momentum. Just yeah, off. yeah, definitely. He's just kind of riding the momentum still. Nice play tosses. Okay. okay. He's letting Sago charge up the uh, misfire. I don't, I don't think he should do that. I think Sago actually already has it now. Yeah, he has it now. So. Oh, shield grab. So I'm gonna say Sago's gonna down throw him. He's not gonna di properly, and he's gonna get the, the side B. Or he's gonna do that. Okay. All right. Good showing from our buddy. Uh,